Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships YouTube channel. I'm your Captain Corey. Today, we are gonna talk about how the major cruise lines are tracking and contact tracing COVID-19 on board their ships. As the, uh, the cruise restart continues, we're seeing a few cases pop up here and there on most cruise ships, and we're kind of starting to figure out how these lines are gonna go ahead and trace and track where that, that person may have been in contact with other people to keep us safe as cruise passengers. So we are going to read an article today from thepointsguy.com. This is by Ashley Kosiolek, and it is entitled, Cruise Ship Contact Tracing, How the World's Major Cruise Lines Are Tracking COVID-19 Exposures on Board. And you can see the cover photo here shows one of these, uh, these wristlets that you can, can use on these cruise lines to purchase. This is basically your sea pass. Uh, you can use this to purchase drinks, food. Uh, you can also use this to check into your room. And they're also using these discs to track where you've been on board the ship. So let's hop into the article. We're going to kind of bounce around this. It's a little long for a video, but I'm going to try to give you the most important information out of this. It's a big week for the cruise industry, with the first ship setting sail from a U.S. port in nearly 17 months. Amid controversy surrounding vaccinations, other parts of the cruise industry's multifaceted approach to containing COVID-19 seem to have been lost within the shuffle. I've just recently returned from my second cruise since the industry-wide shutdown in March of 2020, the first sailing out of North America on Celebrity Millennium, and the first out of Greece on Celebrity Apex. So the author, author is gonna have a little point of view uh, coming off of celebrity ships, obviously. So we're gonna see more, more information tailored to that. But as we move on into the article, we're also gonna talk about Royal Caribbean, Carnival, and the like. So the Millennium Voyage saw the author quarantined in her cabin for 13 hours after she was potentially exposed to two passengers who tested positive during a routine end of cruise screening. But how, she wondered, did anyone know she had been around those people when she didn't even know it herself? In her case, the answer was simple. She booked the same shore excursions that they did. So did hundreds of others. But it turns out they were divided into the same group and rode the same bus during the tour. So there you go. So that's an obvious way of tracing. But we're going we're gonna to get into some, uh, some more technical methods here. So obviously the cruise lines are keeping close tabs on the excursion bubbles created by ship sponsored outings, which is great. So this is why a lot of cruise lines are requiring you to take their excursion. So they actually have a real good handle on who you've come in contact with. So they're, these lines are really trying hard to keep us all safe. But there's more. Celebrity officials told me that they also isolated passengers who had been exposed to the pair while on board. Again, how did they know whom to quarantine and who to test? So we're going to talk about the security footage that the cruise lines are using from these ships. Celebrity Cruises and sister brand Royal Caribbean International have invested in security camera enhancements that allow existing surveillance infrastructure to detect the places passengers have been and who they've been close to using facial recognition. Remember, when you took a photo for the cruise line, either at the terminal's check-in desk or via the app pre-cruise, on cruises of yore, that was used to help crew verify your identity at the gangway and more recently to match you to any photos taken of you by the ship's photographer. Now, that very same technology is also being used for contact tracing on board. We have a quote here. We've had onboard CCTV systems across our fleet for years, Susan Lomax, Celebrity's Head of Global PR. We have augmented that system with additional cameras and the use of BriefCam, a video analytics system. So we're going to talk real quickly. This could get kind of technical, so I'm going to sort of try to distill this down as best as possible. So cruise lines are remaining tight-lipped about how they're using this tracking information, but BriefCam's website bills the company as a provider of rapid video review and search, facial recognition, real-time alerting, and quantitative video insights. So that's a lot of words to say that this company that's been hired by Celebrity and Royal Caribbean is able to instantly 
search through the video recordings that they have or live, tap in and find out where any specific person is or has been on the ship at any time, as long as their face was scanned by a security camera. So that's really cool. So in other words, if a passenger tests positive or becomes ill, their photo can now be cross-referenced with camera footage to identify areas that person has visited while on board. Cabins at, of note, cabins are not outfitted with security cameras, so that's very good. From there, this technology can also determine the identities of anyone who was near the sick passenger for an extended period of time in order to ask them to stay quarantined in their cabin until that person can be tested. Given that some ships are still requiring passengers to wear masks, we wonder whether that affects the reliability of this software. And the provider says that facial recognition with a face mask is indeed supported. Okay, so now we're gonna kind of touch on a little bit more of this facial recognition, how some of the cruise lines are using it, how they're also asking for your consent to use it, and then we're gonna talk about the little wristlet bands as well. So let's hop back into this article. We're gonna see a photo of the author uh, on the app as she was boarding her last cruise here. You can see they ask you to upload your photo and then they ask for your consent of how you're gonna use it. So you could either choose boarding consent only, boarding and photography, or photography only if you want to, uh, to use this to have the ship scan all the photos of you that were taken so you can quickly check them out on, uh, on the last day of your cruise to see if you wanna purchase any of these pictures. So, so now that you've seen sort of how this is coming together, we're gonna to talk about the other contact tracing methods that are on board. So in addition to video surveillance and facial recognition, cruise lines are turning to other tracking methods for contact tracing, many of which are wearables. Years ago, Carnival Corporation, which operates Carnival Cruise Lines, Holland America, Princess Cruises, and some other brands, including Costa, introduced the ocean medallion concept. The medallions, small metal discs, can be carried in your pocket, worn around the wrist, or put on your necklace, and they serve the same function as a key card would, opening your cabin door, checking in and out when you go ashore, and making onboard purchases. However, tapping into a system of wireless onboard checkpoints, the medallions also track passenger location, allowing crew to deliver food and drinks to just about anywhere you are on the ship, and parents can monitor where their kids are. Now, that same technology, which pre-pandemic had only been implemented on a handful of princess ships, is now on all of them, could help with contact tracing when cruising resumes. A similar wearable was released on several MSC cruises, latest vessels as part of the cruise line's MSC for Me experience, which integrates the wearables with MSC's mobile app and several smart ship features such as Zoe, an in-cabin virtual assistant, similar to your ALEXA or your Google Home device. So another method these cruise lines are using to track and trace your location is going to be through the actual application on your phone as well. I don't know if you've ever ordered a pizza on a Carnival cruise, but within that app, you're actually able to see your location on the ship. And so this is gonna be something that's most likely also being used on board of these ships. So we're gonna finish up today's article. According to Royal Caribbean's website, the tracelet helps them with contact tracing in the unlikely event of an onboard health concern. Therefore, everyone on board, regardless of age, needs to wear it. Should you be unable to wear it on your wrist, we will find another way for you to wear the tracelet. Any guest who chooses not to wear the device will be unable to sail with Royal Caribbean. So, so these wearables, like these tracelets, these wristlets, the necklaces, they're tied into the information on your, your you know, sign and sale account, whatever you want to call the account, your cruise folio. Um, so they, they're tied into your photo, they're tied into your room number, your cabin, your billing. So assuming you're wearing it or you have it on your person, it's going to help the cruise lines with tracking, tracing, and minimizing the spread of COVID on these cruise ships. So very interesting, very awesome use of the new technology. I'm so glad that the cruise lines have invested in keeping us safe and helping the return to cruise stay on the high seas instead of in port. So if you never wanna miss another episode like this from Midships, please consider subscribing to our channel. While you're down there, could you please give us a thumbs up? It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us out so very much. We would really appreciate you and your support. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you'd like to hear in the next Midships episode. And until next time, we'll see you later.